<laughs> well, they throw trash along the road. It's a red bat. Oh my it's not a, It's not a terrible long road, no. but it is secluded. What? You didn't hear that? That's what I heard when I got out of the truck. Did you hear it? Yeah. Oh. It's a sneeze. Mm. Yeah. A couple things here you can maybe use to talk. That just beeped. Yeah. That just beeped again. What's that? Something just spoke over there. Whoa, I was just taking a picture. Whoa. What's the matter? The camera keeps going foggy. Warning. Why did it just shut off? Is there anything else you want to tell us? Any? What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? Something just hit me. Okay, like I was saying. Run. Around the mid-1950s, a young couple were out on a date and started arguing. On their way home, the young man pulled over to a secluded dirt road known by locals as Lover's Lane, hoping to settle their argument. Instead of kissing and making up, the argument continued and she demanded him take her home right away. This triggered something in the young man and he grabbed a knife from his pocket and stabbed his girlfriend. Scared for her life, the girl jumped out of the car bleeding and started running up the road. The young man chased after her, grabbed her arm, and threw her to the ground, stabbing her multiple times until she finally died. He then took off, leaving his dead girlfriend on the side of the road along with the trash. A couple days later, her body was found, but there was no sign of her boyfriend. To this day, the young man has never been found, and soon after the gruesome discovery, reports began of a crying and screaming woman seen running down the road of Lover's Lane, just before vanishing at the curve in the road. Hi guys, welcome to another adventure with Holly's Lure. Tonight we are back at Lover's Lane. I thought we used this uh, as the first place. Um, we're going to do a little experiment here in a little bit. We are going to kind of go on different ends of Lover's Lane here and see if that draws anything else out or, you know, if, if it changes the experience here. Because um, I have found with being left briefly places, it, it does seem to change things up some. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to walk around and make sure check it out and then we'll separate so and we're each going to be filming and I think Eric said he wants the spirit box and I'll have the spirit talker so okay you ready honey uh, we'll let you guys know there is a cat running around here so yeah oh yeah about scared the crap out of us he's funny looking too I'm gonna walk this way first <clears throat> um, again, I'll put a brief history on the location of what the legend is here. Um, you know, I'll let any spirits that may be here know that we come in peace and out of respect. We don't mean you any harm.
I heard something moving over there when I first got out of the truck. And then you saw the cat, but the cat ran across the street. And then back. Is this the dust we stirred up that I'm seeing? Yeah. yeah. We got some dust stirred up. It is a dirt road here. At least most of the trash is cleaned up. Yeah. Well, they were just in and recreated the road, too, it looks like. Well, the other day when I was here, there was barely anything. There's more now. Ignorant people. The feather. <laughs> <laughs> well, they throw trash along the road. That's a red bat. Oh, my goodness. A red bat. A red bat. I don't know nothing about this. I don't like that. Oh, so we're going to be bombarded with a bat. And bugs. And bugs. It's that time of year. It's a vampire bat. <laughs> oh, I come to suck your blood. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, there's a frog. Okay. There's a dog barking in the distance at somebody's house. She's got attacked by a bug. Seems like there's always a dog barking, especially here. That's me. Oh, and Mr. Bullfrog. Yeah. Yeah, guys, if you go out that way any further, it just opens up into fields. Yeah. I, I, well, not everybody watched the day one, but yeah. I told them, I'll show them there's fields up there, there's fields down here, so. It's just like a secluded <clears throat> area, had a pull off area. <laughs> yeah, I can see why they call it Lover's Lane. <laughs> Does look like a place you'd come park when you were a teenager, huh? <laughs> what? That wasn't the frog. I thought I heard a voice. Guys, put in the comments if you guys heard that. That's the second time that's happened here. Well, recent. Well, it also happened during the day. Couldn't quite make out what it said. It's probably the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. I guess we should check the other end. Yeah, we'll head that way. How are you feeling so far here? Mm. Not... Feel a little off. Off. Nothing. 
Nothing like it was in a password. Yes. Yeah. If there are any spirits here, you can talk into the light Eric has here in his hand. We won't be able to hear you now, but we'll be able to hear you later. I'd love to know what your name is. I don't like this end. <laughs> well, this is the end where... You heard that gun thing. Yeah. Gun being loaded or whatever. I guess that's why I'm always so uncomfortable up here. Well, from this end, the farmer can see the road from his house. He can? From right up on the corner there. Oh, up there, Where it yeah. opens up. Where it opens up. Which I don't see. It's a lover's lane, but yet the farmer's house was that close. It was probably more trees back then. Yeah. Uh, I'm it's pretty sure that field. field I'm sure it's physically changed a lot around here. Like technically, this one spot up here it seems like it'd be the only place to really get off the road. Yeah. But like you said, it may have been a lot more trees. It may have been a lot more pull-off areas. Right. So it could have been anywhere along this road. It's not a. It's not a terrible long road, no. but it is secluded. <laughs> You didn't hear that? It almost sounded like a cough. Maybe it was a frog. I want to shine a spotlight down there because of the house. And this light's bright enough. There is still some traffic out on the main road, not far from here. What you will probably hear some of. walk up in this and I got it on edge. Uh-huh. You can hear all kinds of crap. That's what I heard when I got out of the truck. Do you hear it? Yeah. Beat him with my selfie stick. Get the I'm behind you. I 
if it was a person trying to sneak up on us, they would have been a little more quieter than that, right? No. There's the bat again. Hello? Who's out here? Something up there again. And something back there. How can you even drink? No, not separating like that. So I'm not going to be able to do my experiment? We're not on the private property, we're on the road. Uh, this is just ignorant. Get out of here, bug. You want to just stand here for a few minutes to see if it happens again? I'm trying to. I mean, you keep moving. I can't stay yeah. behind you. Well, I was trying to move you. I'm trying to make sure there's no clearings right here that they sneak through. So it's either there or in front of us. <laughs> Damn. Mom, go away. I don't have light. I didn't feel it when we was down here, but we started walking towards that end. I have something off of that end, especially. But she died somewhere along this road. She got away and ran a little ways. You know, as best she could. Uh 
part of this is about facing fears too. But you know, if it's a human, that's a different story. Especially an ignorant human. And there's a lot of them around. Some sort of critter. It's not like a dog. What is that? No, it sounds like a bird. No, it sounds like a call. A signal for something. Didn't get anything out. And it's like somebody doesn't does not want us here. It's always like that here. Every time we come. The first time wasn't bad. The first time is when we heard the gun. No, that was the second time. I don't know. No. So it's got to be fall. Yep. That's a frog, right? Hmm. That's the noise you heard at the house, I thought. No. That's more of a whistle. a difference but a little bit of light's a little bit of light that was me I kicked the stone guys <clears throat> voices. I hear two guys talking. You don't think it could be the people at the end of the road that we saw when we came in? Hang out at that house? Not this far. That was me moving. So, what are we doing? We don't want to just stand here and stare at <laughs> darkness and trees. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the experiment. I think we could do your... Uh, Spirit talker or a spirit box or something. Why not do them both at the same time? Well, that's fine. Why not? Different energies, different equipment. 
Oh, we're going to have to find a place where we can try it. I'm going to start seeing if it makes a difference. All right, it's just... So like I said, this place is like somebody doesn't want anybody getting answers. And I hope they do realize we have a camera, so. If somebody tries something. It'll be on camera. <laughs> America's, huh? was it America's dumbest criminals? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, we can't do the experiment. I just don't feel comfortable with Holly going off. I could go that way. I'm going to put this in a different spot tonight. Where's the power? So I didn't want the EMF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The box here. Just beeps like it did and lets us know you are with us. It won't hurt you in any way. Um, I got a couple things here you can maybe use to talk. That just beeped. Yeah. Thank you if you touch that. A couple things here we're going to try. I'm going to have two things running at once. To help you communicate with us. Okay, you can manipulate. I think that's going too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps going foggy. Warning. Why did it just shut off? That was really weird. What are you warning us about? Spirit talker here too. Watch it, maybe. That just beeped again. What are we watching for? Are we being watched? Because it feels like we're being watched. Can you 
light up my light over there on the ground a little bit more. How about this? Can you battery? That was charged. Um, I charged everything. It's no, not, it's, it's the battery on this. I know. Yeah. I'm looking for the the volume button. It's not very loud anymore. Can't even hear it. I know. If something just came through. I guess I'll go until it dies. Yeah. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, disconnected. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, you didn't what? I was asking about the box. Maybe you were talking about that. The first thing that came through was can you read it? I don't have my glasses. Battery. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. That connected. It was playing both of them through the speaker. So that's what happens when it gets shut. Okay. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. But what if something comes through at the same time? I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. What? Dad. Something just spoke over there. Death. Are you talking about the death of a young girl here? Was there death on this road? Device. Device. Yeah, I got a couple of devices here you can use to talk with us, communicate with us. You can even make the light go off and we can communicate that way. Or was there a device used in the death? Life was baby. Maybe they're talking about that. Can you tell us what your name is? That's not doing anything anymore. It's, I mean, still. Scanning. I got two things out of that. You said warning. What were you warning us about? Manifesting. Manifesting. Why are you manifesting it? I would really like to see you. Really like to see you. Really like to see you. flashlight my hand. <laughs> In case you're turned the other way. Is there anything true about the legend? Was there a young girl stabbed to death on this road? Is she a spirit now? Is she one of the spirits here? If 
something came from there. Oh. Oh. I didn't catch what came through. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough hands to hold everything. Who made the light go off earlier? It flashed. Can you do it again? Who is out here in the woods walking around? Who or what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know someone's out here. Who is it? Or what is it? You hold this. I don't want to miss what comes through here, too. Take picture. Take picture? Take picture. That I can do. Where at? Just start taking random pictures. I need to get a Polaroid. Shine your light because I ain't got much light. Taking three. Are you going to manifest in one of my pictures? Of course. Thank you if you do. Hopefully I can catch that. That would be wonderful. Can you tell me who you are? Okay. Okay, maybe the polite thing to do would be to introduce er us. We are Holly and Eric. Whoa, I was just taking a picture. <laughs> I I messed that one up. Maybe something fell out of a tree. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. What's elsewhere?
Okay, I took a picture. Well, I'll check them out when I get home on the computer to see. Make the picture bigger so I can see you. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Any? What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? Something just hit me. Nothing new on the ground. No. That, that stick was there. Can smell. Grandmother. What just hit Eric? Are you trying to get our attention? Figure. What is that? Figure. That way. When I was pointed that way. Remember to always look up also. Yeah. I don't misplace my phone. Understand. Understand? What do you understand? I don't misplace my flashlight. On the cover. Oh, okay. Like I was saying, run. I didn't say run, but they did. What are we running from? You're not going to throw anything else, are you? It wasn't a very nice thing to do. There are other ways. I'm scratching my leg. Sorry. There are other ways to get our attention. Don't need to hit us with anything. Why? Because it hurts. Participate. Participate. Participate in what? Throwing things? Something. All right, I'm getting ready to turn the spare box off here. Do you have anything you want to tell us before I turn this off? Leave now. Chairs. What, we should bring chairs next time and sit down? There's been chairs thrown out here. Yeah, there has been. Okay, I want to thank any spirits that spoke with us for taking the time to speak with us. You are not... You are not allowed to attach yourself to us. Get out of here. To air equipment or vehicle or anything. That was weird. Yeah. All right. I say it's All time right. to go. Thank you. Good night. You want to shut that one down? Yeah. Stop that one too. Okay. Well, we did a little experiment. I want to try to start doing different little experiments at some of these places that we've been to. Uh, I you? just, I don't know why this place is so... I don't want to say evil. It starts but out it's just fine. Every time we come here, it starts out okay. I'm grabbing this, it's gonna be. Shut up.
Where's the right button? There. Everything starts out okay. Okay, it's turned off. And then it's like the longer we're here. That's why I thought this place would be a good place to ex do that experiment. Because even together, the longer we're here, the more it picks up. Unfortunately, we can't stay here all night. It's No. Especially on a work night. Yeah. I mean, it's already late enough. All right, guys, I, I, I want to ask you a favor. If um, you have any ideas on different types of experiments you guys would like to see, you can put that in the comment below. Something to, like, maybe your ideas on how to draw the spirits out some more. Um, if you guys heard or seen anything, please put it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on our next adventure. Thanks, guys. Later, guys.